Hey what's up everyone hope you are doing fine in today's video I put my focus on how to set your mobile phone home screen using the new Microsoft launcher version 6. Launchers are meant to help us customize our phone so that they can match our style which mm, for some reasons they don't come with our phones by default. Microsoft launcher is one launcher that will help you to simplify your digital life. It got a wide range of customization that will meet your needs. So why don't you just head on to your Google Play Store and download the latest version of Microsoft Launcher if you haven't done that yet. Now upon downloading, install and open the Launcher. This should take you to the screen that you are currently watching here. Of course if you have already downloaded the Launcher you can skip this part. To get started, you will be required to do a simple setup. This will have everything up and running. So let's get started with the simple setup. Then after that, I'll show you how you can set up your home screen in a second. So to get started with the setup, click the get started button below the screen. And Microsoft will request you to share some data with them so that uh, they can improve uh, the launcher. So you can say not now or you can just say okay. Maybe I'll just come and say okay. Then here you'll be required to choose your wallpaper. So keep your current one or get a beautiful new look every day with Bing wallpapers. So you can uh, come and pick the Bing uh, daily wallpaper or you can choose to uh, pick your own wallpaper maybe from your photos. So I'll just come. Uh, so I'll just come and select the current wallpaper. And then I'll just say continue. And here I will be required to pick my favorite apps. So um, this will uh, uh, help the launcher to add them uh, to my home screen, uh, so that I have a quick access uh, to to them. Uh, so I just have to come and pick maybe the camera. Um, maybe the Google Chrome uh, browser. I'll also come and pick um, messages. So you don't have to do this, but it's always good to to do it so that um, you have everything up and running properly. So I'll just come and pick just those, and then I'll say continue. and I'm all done so I have already signed in using my Microsoft account so this will help me to cycle my calendars my documents and everything so it's always good to have a Microsoft account which is free to create and then use it to sign uh, in to uh, the Microsoft launcher and uh, this will help you to um, cycle almost everything that has to do with uh, Microsoft so I'll just come and click the let's go button and um, I'll be welcomed to uh, the home screen. So I'm uh, requested to swipe right to see uh, my personalized feeds where I will be able to view my calendar, news, documents and more. So when I just do it like that, I'll be able to see them, the calendar, the tags, the sticky notes, the frequent apps and all that. I can also go to news, yeah, I can be able to see the various news and also the timeline so you can be able to see um, what I've been doing so we are not interested with that uh, we are just interested with uh, setting up uh, this home screen uh, so that it looks nice and beautiful and as well as simplified so what I'm just going to do uh, first is to remove um, at the applications you see we have a lot of applications in the home screen that makes it look a bit cluttered so what I'm just going to do is to remove some of the applications in the home screen so to do that I'll just tap and hold and remove tap and hold and remove So I can also go to the um, uh, grid here and um, what I want to do, I also want to remove the settings uh, up, so that's it, uh, just remove it from the dock, actually this area here we call it um, I think the dock, 
so i've just removed that because what i just want to have here are those apps that i use more frequently so or that i use the most so um sorry 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 for that so i just need to be left with those apps that i use the most that i use frequently so i'm going to remove those and then i can have that one there so at least now um the home screen looks a bit uh, simple and, um, and clean so the next thing that i want to do is uh, to change the layout the layout of these icons as you can see uh, they are in a vertical uh, uh, layout so i want to give it um, a horizontal horizontal layout so what i'll do i'll go to uh, the launcher settings launcher settings here and then I'll need to go to home screen and uh, here I'll go to icon appearance well, first of all before we go to the icon appearance sorry um, I need to go to the icon layout and size icon layout and size so here I'll come and have that uh, the number of columns being four and this one I can set it to five I can also come and maybe uh, reduce the icon size to maybe medium font size small medium is good um, then I will leave all of the others uh, to the uh, default so just leave that one and um, that's it so the next thing that I want to do is um, changing the, the layout as I had mentioned so the grid and that's what i'm looking for here um yes so you need to go to you need to go to um the app drawer so when you go to the app drawer you'll be able to change the display layout from here so i need to make it horizontal so just say okay and i don't want to be showing the recent apps so i'll toggle that one off and that's good so uh, that's what we now have on uh, the screen so if i uh, just tap it like that i'll be able to move across the different um, apps that i have in my phone so the next thing that i want to do is to change uh, the icon pack so this is the default uh, so to change the icon pack again, I need to go to the launcher settings Microsoft launcher settings and then I'll go to home screen uh, Settings and then I'll go to icon appearance So from here, I'll come and click the icon pack and I have several uh, icon packs I have downloaded I have um, the Microsoft launcher of course that will come with Microsoft launcher by default but I have downloaded the pixel icon pack and uh, Hui cons Hui cons yeah so I want to go with the Hui cons so I just tap that and uh, that should change automatically so if you need to download you can just click on that download and it will take you to the Play Store Google Play Store uh, where you can be able to download your favorite uh, icon pack alright so having said that so uh, we can get back to uh, the launcher settings and uh, this uh, looks a bit nice uh, unfortunately my phone doesn't uh, support notification badges although that's a very nice thing so if you just want to turn that one on you can just click that uh, to turn on to turn the notification uh, badges on especially if you have just upgraded to the new microsoft launcher this is something that you need to uh, do it again uh, uh, turning on the notification badges again all right so that's a bit nice that looks nice so the next thing that i want to do is to add um an extra app icon here so maybe i need to add um, maybe i can add whatsapp or i usually use the youtube studio so i may want to add that so i just come and hold and tap it and then i i click or tap the uh, add to home and then i can just come and drag it to 
drag it to the dock down here uh, there you go so uh, that's a bit nice uh, but I also want to remove uh, an extra screen here if I have an extra screen so I don't need this uh, screen here so you can just tap and hold and uh, just come and remove that so when I go back now I will not have that all right so that's good so um, the next thing that you can also be able to do is uh, to adjust um, the, the clock widget here so maybe I, I can just come and make it a bit bigger uh, I can tap here to set um, uh, my location so that maybe I'll be notified about uh, stuff to do with weather just search my location nearly and there you go so you can have this uh, in uh, in any position that you want on the screen so just tap and uh, hold and then you drag it tap and hold and drag it around all right so things that looks a bit nice but i may also want to change the theme so um to change the theme uh, what i can do again i can just go to the launcher settings and uh, here i just need to come and tap the themes and i want to switch to dark theme and I want to make it a bit uh, transparent so I need to reduce the transparency a little bit mm, maybe around there that looks nice and then I can also come and play with the blur mm. um, that looks nice so you can uh, say that you want to enable the blur effect on uh, screens so you can just have that one on or off so you can have the blur on or off so maybe i think that looks nice to see see how that looks mm, i think that to me looks a bit nice that looks a bit nice to me but you can play aloud with the blur effects there uh, so that you have it uh, sweet or match your, 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 your needs so I also need to change the accent color down here so you can just come and tap that and I want to go with green then I say done so that should have my screen look like that hmm that looks nice So when I slide up with one finger, I open the dock. When I slide down, I, I close the dock. And um, I have my favorite uh, or the icons that I use, uh, apps that I use more frequently down here. So it's, your, it's up to you to add those uh, apps that you use more frequently. So that's what I would suggest. You just add them down here. Yeah, so for quick access. So um, for the wallpaper, of course, you need to uh, go to uh, the settings, uh, the launcher settings. So you can go to a wallpaper. And here you'll see the home screen and the lock uh, screen uh, wallpapers. So what you need to do is to come and uh, click on that. And you can be able to come and add whichever wallpaper that you need. So like for instance, you can uh, pick one from Bing. So you can come and download one from here. All, uh, so these ones will be changing uh, daily. So if you are connected to the internet, you'll be finding these uh, wallpapers changing. So you are waking up to a new wallpaper every day. You can also come and pick one from the Microsoft launcher. So you're going to have them uh, down here. So you can come and pick the one that you find uh, to suit you. So maybe you can just try that, just try that and see. So you can be able to apply it to home screen and lock screen or home screen only or the lock screen only so maybe i can just come and uh, maybe have it on the home screen for the sake of this video and then i say apply 
So I wanted to pick a darker one because my icons are white in color. So uh, that one now makes it look like that. Yeah, and I think it looks nice. But I want to go with the image that I had added. So I just need uh, to go back to uh, the wallpaper. And uh, from here, I need to pick the image that I had added. Uh, All right, so there you go. You just need to give it some time. All right, so that looks a bit nice. Uh, at least for me so it's up to you to um, just come and play aloud with the home screen but I think that looks very nice hope the video was helpful kindly like the video give it a thumbs up and maybe share it with your friends alright see you the next one and stay safe